Good morning, Columbus. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's Daily Dose of Digital Torah Inspiration here at Sinai Studios, Judaism Today. You know, if you ever read studies about people who were incarcerated and get out of jail or people who um, had, uh, you know, fell into terrible situations in life, drugs, alcohol, etc., there's a tremendous amount of recidivism, which means that even after they got out of jail or even after they freed themselves from the shackles of addiction, so often they fall back to previous bad habits and soon wind up in the same situation that they were born. This is tragic. But there's an important idea, an important lesson, I think, that we can learn from the holiday of Passover and the time we find ourselves in that speaks to this idea. You know, one thing God was very concerned with the Jewish people was spiritual recidivism, which is that God took the Jews out of Egypt and that was a shock to the system. Here they had been slaves for hundreds of years. They had been living in a previous culture. A lot of Jews didn't even want to go. They, kept, they keep referring back to the luxurious time that they were in Egypt, which is so hard to believe. And God takes them out. And the question is, like, now what? Like, imagine someone who was in jail for decades and they get released from prison. And now what? What do you do? And so it's a very critical idea and very important concept is that there's a difference between freedom from and freedom to. In other words, the Jews not only needed to be free from Egypt, but they had to have a purpose to their freedom. Their freedom had to have a mission, an overarching goal towards what they were marching, towards what they were achieving. And God actually provides that. You see, the trick to preventing recidivism is being consumed with a mission forward. When you're let out of prison, if you have nowhere to go, that's a problem. But if you could throw yourself into something new, if you could throw yourself into a mission, into a a charge, then you have purpose. And what God does for the Jews, he says, it's not good enough to be free from Egypt. You need to be free to something, to do something, to receive the Torah. And that is the period of time which we find ourselves in now, in these post-Shavuos weeks, we find ourselves now in the time known as the Omer period. And the Omer period is this march towards Sinai, towards Sinai, towards receiving the Torah. And the message couldn't be clearer. Liberty only has meaning if we're doing something constructive and positive to it. And you know, leaving the analogies of prison and drug abuse aside, which are very real and very painful scenarios. But the truth is, as Americans, this is a very important idea. We live in a free country. We're free to do life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. So that's what we're free from. But a question we should be asking ourselves today and every day is what are we free to? Have a great day.